Susan arrives at a restaurant at 6.40 p.m. She leaves at 8.50 p.m. How long was Susan at the restaurant? Starting at 6.40 p.m., we can add 20 minutes to get to 7 p.m. From 7 p.m., we add 1 hour to get to 8 p.m. We know she leaves the restaurant at 8.50 p.m., so we need to add 50 more minutes. Now let's add the times together. Start by adding the minutes. 20 minutes plus 50 minutes equals 70 minutes. We can rewrite 70 minutes as 60 minutes plus 10 minutes, which is equal to 1 hour 10 minutes. Now we can add the hours. 1 hour plus 1 hour is 2 hours. So Susan was at the restaurant for 2 hours 10 minutes. Lauren spends 3 hours and 25 minutes shopping. She started shopping at 11.50 a.m. What time did she finish? We know that she starts shopping at 11.50 a.m. To reach 12 p.m., we need to add 10 minutes. We can subtract this 10 minutes from the 3 hours and 25 minutes to leave 3 hours and 15 minutes. 3 hours after 12 p.m. is 3 p.m. Now we can add the remaining 15 minutes. 15 minutes after 3 p.m. is 3.15 p.m. So Lauren finished shopping at 3.15 p.m. Ty rode his bicycle in the park for 2 hours and 20 minutes. He finished riding his bicycle at 3.30 p.m. What time did Ty start riding his bicycle? Let's start at 3.30 p.m. and work backwards. Start with the minutes. 20 minutes earlier than 3.30 p.m. is 3.10 p.m. Now we can move on to the hours. 2 hours earlier than 3.10 p.m. is 1.10 p.m. So Ty started riding his bicycle at 1.10pm.